Do these sticky sticks really work? Well, stick around to find out. Now, in no way am I sponsored for this product, but it is a product that I wanted to show you if you have fruit flies in your home and you want to get rid of them. I purchased this off of Amazon. You can also find it in pretty much any store, but I can leave a link down below if you're interested in purchasing this item. So it's nice that it comes with a lot of sticks because you're able to use them in many different plants around your home, depending on how many plants you do have. You probably want to put them in almost all of your plants just to make sure that you do catch all of those little bugs. So if you see the little grooves here, that's where you're going to be inserting the sticky tape. And I'll show you how that's done. Just by using the sticky tape, you peel off the white plastic part and then you, well, just keep watching. I'll show you. So the box do have instructions just telling you to remove the wax paper covering on the sticky side. Make sure to not stick your fingers on the sticky tape because it's very sticky and that stuff is really hard to get off. Just letting you know. Now there is one downfall with this sticky tape is if you have cats that like to go into your plants. I have a cat that likes to go into my plants and he actually gets stuck on this fly tape. So if you're not into getting this stuff, if you'd like to check out my last video, it's actually more pet friendly. I'll leave that link down below so it's easy to find and access. It's a lot less dangerous for your animals. Uh, and then they won't get their hair stuck on this and carried around the house and get everything sticky and your hands get sticky and it kind of creates a mess. So make sure to keep these away from your pets or even children. So you can see the one side is pointy and that's the side that I'm holding on to. You stick that into the ground and you can also put on more sticks if you just want a taller bug trap. And then just add fly tape. Holding onto the sides of the fly tape so you don't get your hands full of that sticky stuff. Also don't set this down. Keep holding it until you're actually ready to put it in your pot. So I put another stick at the bottom just so I have more room to put it into the dirt so it doesn't fall over. So I'm going to add some of these fly tapes into a few of my pots. I'll show you the little fruit flies is what I call them but they're tiny bugs with wings uh, that they like to breed in the soil. So I don't know if you can see it in here. You can see them moving around. But in my other pot, they are actually really bad. So you want to leave this in your pot. Give it at least a good couple days and you will notice that you'll start collecting flies. They get stuck on the tape and then they just die. So here's a before shot of the tape. And then I will show you in a couple days what it looks like. But first I'm going to stick another one into my pot that has actually a lot of bugs. So you can see them walking around in the dirt. So it's been just a couple days and here are the results for the flies. They got stuck on the sticky tape and you probably can leave it there until it gets quite full because you want most of your bugs gone. So yes, if you're wondering, do these things actually work? They sure do. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Enjoy your bug-free home.